Aquafina. Yummy. All right, folks. <clears throat> We're back in the lab. We're back in the studio. This is the Captain's Log Podcast and YouTube show. I'm your host, Rob. Just got me today. Um, how are we doing? I'm pretty sure we're doing great. <clears throat> it's currently Thursday. It's raining like shit. Well, I'm sorry. It is it Thursday? No, it's Friday. I'm sorry. I'm a little behind. I suppose we recorded last night. So as you can see, I'm all messed up. So doing a quick uh, recording today and it'll be out by lunchtime. If you were waiting, I apologize. But, <clears throat> you know, life be life. So topics for the evening. It's going to be uh, Women's History Month, of course. We still got some time left. I still got some ladies I need to shout out. Um, wellness check on me. Um, Buzzsprout dynamic content feature. I'll get into that if you don't know what that is. Uh, TikTok ban. Is it imminent? And Cam Newton. Cam Newton be talking. So we're going to talk about it. But first and foremost, <clears throat> my Women's History shout out. This week goes to Lakeisha Carroll. Uh, this is a phenomenal woman. She got a full-time job. She went to cosmetology school part-time. She graduated, so she doing that. <laughs> I'll get her social media information, so if you want to get your wig split, you know what I'm saying, you can holler at her. She's also a, a, a wife, a mother of two, and uh, she's my little sis, so she's also a great listener. Um, we've, been, we've been hanging and banging since shit, 2007. And um, she's been the same person. She's been always had a bubbly personality, always been happy. You know, um, she's just great. So, Kiki, I want to shout you out for Women's History Month. I appreciate you. Okay, <clears throat> let's move on. So, wellness check, man. I won't do this too much, but I just felt like the need. I just needed to share with you guys so you guys can, you know, also just continue to learn about me as well as... Um, uh, listen to me talk about other shit too, but <clears throat> well, to check, man, my balance is off. Uh, my balance is off big time. Uh, between work, you know, home life, podcasting, it's just not enough time in the day, man. Um, I find myself mentally drained pretty much throughout the entire week. All the way, I think Sunday is the only day where I could just kind of at least relax for the majority of the day. Um, so my work we consist of <clears throat> now. This is me and my wife doing things as well. So this is Monday. My daughter's got dance. Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday, my son's got basketball practice. I'm recording Monday night. Me and Rick recording Monday night. Then you know going to work. You know whether I'm teleworking or going on site. Coming home. Uh, you know got to get a dog some time. <clears throat> uh, catching up on some shows. Editing, making clips. You know uh, Thursday recording. Uh, Friday basketball practice, uh, Saturday bowling. Well, not right now, but we'll be back to bowling Sunday, chill a little bit and basketball game. So I'd be like, bro, I just, sometimes shit just be a bit overwhelming. It'd be hard to, to stay locked in. So as a result, you know, I see, I see a therapist. Um, I see a psychiatrist. I have two different psychiatrists and I have a life coach. And if I have to rank them from, who I'm getting the most from to who I'm probably about to cut off, I would say my life coach, my psychiatrist with Kaiser, and my psychiatrist with the VA. I'm just going to start by saying that the VA psychiatrist is fucking worthless. Uh, if you a vet out here and you going through some things, you know what I'm saying, this shit real tough on you, I would advise you to seek help from your whatever. If, if you only go to the VA, I, I would suggest you to just peel the bread back and pay for a psychiatrist somewhere else. Um, it's just not good, man. Uh, amongst a, amongst a bunch of other things, the VA is just lacking in. Um, when I go, when I have my appointments with the VA, it's always a different person. So I'm not getting the same person. And they keep pushing group therapy, group therapy. I'm like, I don't want group therapy, bro. Like, I mean, I've done group therapy before in the past when I was going through some things with my PTSD. And... Not saying that it wasn't helpful, but I mean, I was younger. Now I don't want. I don't want to talk to. I just want to talk to one person. So having to talk to the same person, a different person, you know, every other month, and having to, you know, start from scratch and go over what what you got going on and why, why, why are you here? Like I, I feel like I've explained, you know, why you know I have my bad days, like four or five times to to five different therapists. So it's like, bro, give me one person. 
you know, and at the end of the day, all they all they do is listen. They listen to, you know, what you got to say and then they prescribe you medication. Bro, I don't need medication. Like, I'll take the medication because you say, OK, take it. And you can just build a file that should have just be collecting dust in the medicine cabinet. Bro, that, that medicine that they give you, that should be making you drowsy, make you tired. You know what I'm saying? Make, make you lackluster in the bedroom, you know. You know, your, your spouse ready to go, and then you your shit like, hmm. So I don't need medication, man. So when I talk to my psychiatrist at Kaiser, um, it's just more of a conversation. You know, it's more of a conversation, which is all I need. All I need to do is talk. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm talking to you now. You know, this is kind of my therapy as well. That's why, that's why I continue to do it. But when I talk to my Kaiser psychiatrist, man, you know, she's listening. She's like, you know, kind of around the same age, the woman. And... um. I can talk, I can talk and just get out what I need to get out. And there's no judgment. You know, if I if I I'll say something to the VA, oh, why are you doing that? And oh, you shouldn't do this. Nah, nah, bro. Like, you're not even fucking helping me though. Like, you're not doing shit. You just you just sitting there wondering, oh damn, he talking like that. Let's see, what's what's the next medication on the list? What's the next? Let's give him this one. So, newsflash, just stop trying to fucking drug us up. And actually listen, take the time and listen, hire more people, pay them more money and listen and stop trying to just stick everybody in group classes thinking that's going to help. I don't want to sit in a circle and say, hi, I have PTSD. I don't want to do that, bro. Um, and my life coach, my life coach is by far. She's my psychiatrist and she don't even know it. Um, I get I get so much from her in the conversations we have on the goals, you know, I've set for what I want to do. And things I want to accomplish, things I want to do with my family, you know, best practices. Um, nothing but uh, a great, great advice and ideas. Just a breath of fresh air, man. So my life coach is number one on my list of conversations I enjoy. And I know that sometimes when we got to reschedule, I'll be like, ah, I'm like, I got some shit I need to get off, man. I got some updates for you because. You know, when I get on there, she's going. She's picking up right where we left off. So tell me about this. Tell me what you said you was going to do this with the podcast. You said you was going to do do this. You were going to do that. You had this idea. What's going on? It's like it's like an excitement, not just like reading the list. So, um, would you say you were going to do? I, I forgot. Can you just, can you start from the beginning again? No, I'm like they're actually paying attention to me, and that's important. You know, so. Um, I would definitely say, man, if you're going through it now, first of all, you think about hurting yourself or something like that, you definitely need to get on the line with somebody immediately. You know, I'm 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 serious about that. I know some people who then been in them situations and everybody didn't didn't come out the way they wanted to. So if you got some shit going on, man, make sure you call call one of them suicide hotlines and all that. And if you just need to talk and you feel like your partner just ain't it, I would I would highly suggest I am pro therapy, you know, in whatever form. You know, so definitely do that, man. Let's move on. Buzzsprout. All right. So what is Buzzsprout? Buzzsprout is it's it's what I use to post my audio and my audio goes everywhere. So, you know, my RSS feed is, you know, I put my audio in, I record, I upload it to buzzsprout.com and I put the title, I put the description, I put episode number i put its explicit content and i schedule it and once it schedules uh let's say i schedule it for today it'll be it'll be for 12 i'll schedule it for 12 noon and boom it comes out and it goes everywhere so it goes to anywhere you can find podcasts it'll be on on that actual site you know the main one spotify apple music uh google google Podcasts, all that shit it'll be everywhere so what they what they've doing is every now and then they give you some updates. So they got things like magic mastering. If if your audio sucks, they'll clean it up for you and make it sound more professional, kind of like mine does. Um, I actually still use it. And they have this thing called dynamic content. So they use this. This 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 is for my podcasters. Do 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 podcast alert. So they have this thing called dynamic content. What it allows you to do is allows you to create pre rolls and post rolls. What's a pre-roll or what's a post-roll? Pre-roll is this this is something that you want. This is like uh this is like your own personal commercial or ad. So for me, I'll say, hey, uh, thanks for stopping by. This is the captain speaking. Thank you for stopping by the podcast. If you could do me a favor, I want to do a call to action. If you could do me a favor, if you could please go 
and follow follow me on social media or any of your on any of your respected sites that you use. I'd greatly appreciate it. Have a good day. Enjoy the show. Boom. Then the episode comes in. So I can do that. I can use that for like fundraising. Hey, before you come into the episode, just know that I'm raising money for uh, breast cancer awareness or something like that. If you'd like to donate, you know, links in the bio, do, 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 do. Or if I want to say, hey, I'm going to be on vacation. I can say, hey, guys, this is the captain speaking. Just want to give you a heads up. After this episode, there won't be an episode for about a month because I'm going to be out of the country. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just your own advertisement to, to let your listeners know what's going on. So post roll is the same thing. Post roll could be like, hey, hope you enjoyed the show. Um, if you'd like to leave us a rating, link is in the bio. It'd be much appreciated. Or hey, if you'd like to support the podcast by making a donation or contribution, the link is in the bio. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time. Boom. Dog, that's great because not only can you do that, but you can do that for anything you've posted. So this is episode 130. So I can I can make this. Well, it's going to be on here. So if you, you probably heard it already. So I can make that and I can add it. And this is going to get added to the other 129 episodes that I've already created. So for those who go on back, you'll hear that every time and you can change them. I can have up to I can have as many different pre rolls or post rolls as I want and I can change them as needed. So I can have one and say, hey, no episode, no episode next week. Uh, enjoy this. I don't have to keep doing it. I don't have to keep making that announcement, you know, while I'm recording. So that's cool. And that's part of the subscription. So. If you're a podcast or you're using, you know, somewhere else, I don't know who, who else offers it or not, but I know Buzzsprout does. I ain't getting paid no money to stamp Buzzsprout, but Buzzsprout has been pretty good, and I'm fucking with it. Next, <clears throat> is TikTok going to get banned? E. So I just happened to be on TikTok yesterday, and, you know, everybody's TikTok was fucking live streaming the CEO Mr. Uh, Chu, Chu, I'm gonna say Mr. Chu because I feel like I'm jacking, the, jacking the first name up. He was in court getting grilled like shit. Uh, they was in there asking him questions on top of questions, and his response was either, "Oh, are you, users are safe? There's 150 million Americans that love the app in, in the United States, and, and they're safe. They're safe." Or I have to check that. I'll get back to you. Ugh, man, look, he was looking real ill prepared in there, man. Um, and you had, you know, you had one of the gentlemen in there that was talking, he was just talking about, he showed a, a video of a gun, how to load the gun and all this other shit. And this is on TikTok. And then he shows, it shows here in, in your parameters that shit like this is supposed to be banned, you know? So what's going on? And he's just like, oh, we're taking precautionary measures for things like this. And he's like, but it's on here though. And I, I felt him on that, man, because I made a post yesterday um uh for for Lance Reddick rest in peace and you know I use I use this AI software called Descript that's why I get my little videos and shit that be popping up on there if you see them it's pretty cool um and my shit got fucking uh the sound removed talking about it violated this that and the third but it's my voice though there's no there's no nobody talking but me and Rick and they muted the sound so I'm like bro you mute the sound for the person that it actually is but you got guns and you got these challenges, Tide Pods, and the Kia Boys showing, showing motherfuckers how to steal cars, and and these glamour filters. You know what I'm saying? You you got you got all this shit on here that you just allow to slide. These chicks out here showing ass. I'm out here. I'm out here trying to fucking get to a get to at least a thousand followers on TikTok so I can go live. And I got a chick over here. She got one fucking picture of her ass, and the bitch got fucking five thousand goddamn followers. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, I can feel it. That was that was a little that was a little off topic, but that's how I feel. I'm like, bro, I'm out here working hard. You know what I'm saying? And 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 all you got to do is go ahead and show a little ass, and then you know, the numbers is up. Sorry. Um, but uh, <clears throat> TikTok is definitely dangerous. You know what I mean for the teenagers. You know what's crazy? So here, every now and then, I'll promote a post. Like I had a Shannon Sharp joint back in the day when he was getting ready to get into it with Dylan Brooks, and I promoted that post even though it was already up. I promoted it. And when you do a promotion, so I usually do like five days, a couple of dollars, you know what I'm saying? And it'll show you the analytics. The majority of the people who were either following, liking, sharing, saving were were teenagers, 13 to 17. So that's the bulk of the peop the bulk of the users are teenagers. So you gotta think, man, like 
you got to think about it. TikTok will come out with, you know, now that they, they do shit with CapCut, you know, they, 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 they do it with CapCut and you can make all these filters, these videos, and you, all you got to do is add the pictures and shit, and they'll say, do this challenge. And, like, these teenagers be doing that shit. So just imagine, you know what I'm saying, because if, if this app is, you know, is giving out information to China, just imagine if China say, oh, well, you know what, this is what we're going to start doing. We're going to slowly start inching in to, to do things to, to make them make them hate their own country. You know what I'm saying? Let's start doing challenges and say, I hate America challenge. You know what I'm saying? And next thing you know, you're slowly building, you're slowly building an army of about to be adults against their own country. They're looking at it like that. You know what I mean? That's how powerful it is. I know that shit might sound crazy, but there are kids out here and there are fucking adults too that will do anything that's trending on TikTok. I, I bring up the glamour filter because I think it's amazing. Now I've seen it. I see it a lot. You know, you put it on your face and it's supposed to kind of, you know, simulate you kind of, you know, it, it erases all your blemishes and all this other shit. It be dudes on this joint trying to use it. Be like, damn, this shit look crazy. This shit look crazy. Bro, you got grown men out here, masculine men that be curious. You making them curious to shit like this. Like, damn, I can do this. So just imagine I'm a grown man and I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting a filter on my face that simulates me wearing fucking lipstick and blushing all this other shit. If... If TikTok can make me do that as a, a 30 going on 40 year old man, think about what it'll do to a child. You know what I'm saying? So don't get me wrong. I fool with TikTok. I fool with it. You know what I'm saying? I learned a lot. TikTok is kind of like Google to me. You know what I'm saying? And it can be very valuable, but it is very fucking dangerous too. So what have I done to just to prepare just in case? The joint get banned. I didn't went ahead and made me a little fan base account. You know, I keep seeing it. Isaac Hayes, the, the, the third, has it. Uh, I made an account. I'm just kind of integrating my shit over there. I, I kind of br- browse through the app. I ain't really dug into it yet, but I'm just want to make sure I don't lose none of my shit. I got another page too, my personal page, Marbury underscore Amazing. Check that out too. But um, um, I'm just just getting prepped. I don't know if anything is going to happen today, but. If, the, if Mr. Chu come back, keep coming back to court talking like that with no information, that shit going to be gone. But let me know your thoughts on that, though. Let's move on. Let's move on to football, man. Cam Newton's trending. Cam Newton's trending because he says, it ain't 32 quarterbacks better than me. Uh, okay. So he's not lying about that. So I look up the stats. You know, you know I like them stats. There's actually 28 quarterbacks better than Cam Newton. Honorable mentions. No, not even honorable mentions. I'm just going to name a few that's just right above them. Taylor Heineke is right above you. Uh, Mitchell Trubisky. Uh, Baker Mayfield and Jameis Winston. They're all, they're all stat-wise, they're better. Um, this is Cam Newton's stats. So Cam Newton's stats, he is 33 years old. He's played 152 games. He's got 4,474 throwing attempts. Out of those, 2,682 successful completions. 59% accuracy. Overall overall yards, 32,382 yards. 123 interceptions. 194 touchdown. And a QB rating of 85. Um, He did a video at a, a pro day at Auburn, you know, college he went to. And it did show show a clip. It's just one clip. Maybe that's just that. I guess that's supposed to be the best one. It's just him throwing a bomb pass, bro. Any NFL quarterback can throw a bomb, bro. Like, what else? What 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 about the X's and O's? You know what I'm saying? When I watched Cam Newton, even when he was at the Patriots, probably wasn't really the best place for him. Half the time, they was just throwing in the ball and he was running. I get he's a big guy, but I think the real reason why he not getting picked up is because you talk too much. Who the last person that went out here uh, saying the NFL should pick me up, I should get a job, and went and did a pro day and all this other shit, and still saying that it ain't these people ain't better? Who else did that and still ain't got no job? Want to take a guess? So I don't think it. I don't think it has nothing to do with talent. I think he could still play, but I just think that when you out here, you know, you on the social media, you on your podcast, and you you know you you're really but saying that it, I can still play. It ain't the, ain't the people better than me. I can name a couple more people. T.O. still think he can play. Ojo Singo still think he can play. And they ain't none of them playing. Bro, I think if you just chill, just chill out, do your thing, 
and maybe you'll get picked up. Or maybe there's just something that maybe there is life outside of football. Maybe there's a you have maybe you have another purpose. You know what I'm saying? And maybe you just bored, like, man, I can still get out there. There are some pretty bad quarterbacks in the league, but guess what? They're not running their fucking mouth either. They're not going out here saying it ain't that's an insult. That's an insult to anyone who plays that says there ain't 32 quarterbacks better than me. It's an insult, bro. So now you're you're insulting other quarterbacks in the league. But you want the NFL to pick you up. What you think? I mean, th- does that make sense? I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. Cam Cam Newton, who am I? Don't change your personality for me. I'm just saying that I don't think it's helping. I don't think it's helping you by going by going out here and saying that because you've said this shit multiple times. It ain't 32 quarterbacks better than me. It ain't 32 quarterbacks better than me. Bro, the comments are saying that you washed. I don't think you washed, but I don't think I don't think you know starter. I you you could be a backup. I think you can be a third, you could be a third string backup and work your way up, but you're not no starter, bro. No, 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 no. Nah, man, it's different, man. Just 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 because you're a real big guy, you can run and all that, you can throw the ball down the field, that's cool. But when that pressure get on you, bro, you be making mistakes. Incomplete. Sacked. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe run it, scramble around in the in the in the backfield. For 30 minutes and then just give out two yards extra, that's not gonna get it done, bro. So we'll see. <clears throat> I mean, I, at the end of the day, I hope you get back in, but I hope you just kind of change your mindset a little bit. I think if you just sit back and chill, continue to live on, do your thing, keep yourself, stay ready, you might get a call. But that's all I got, man. So y'all enjoy y'all day. Cap now.